Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm still working on the root cellar that I've been kind of poking around with for a while. The plumber was on site today doing some work. I'm still trying to stay out of that house so that they don't feel like there's a threat of me contaminating them with coronavirus, and honestly, you know, so I don't feel the same way in reverse. Uh, and I've just been trying to do stuff outside. The shed, I'm still in a holding pattern, waiting for the the lumber to show up, they were supposed to tell me when the delivery was going to happen yesterday. Uh, I never heard from them. I'm going to, I guess, call them this evening to see what's going on with that. But I've been using the opportunity to work here. The door is completely done. The flashing around it is completely done. Uh, I got some nice uh, stones kind of stuck up into the top, which I realize you can't see from in here. I'm sorry for that. But I did want to share with you what I've been doing right here, which is this um, kind of platform. Uh, this kind of a sort of a weird uh, architecture here to kind of step down from there. And uh, we've got a step here on the outside, you know, stepping up here. And uh, what I wanted to do uh, when, the, I'm not going to leave that open like that, uh, when I'm set with this, one of the great things about building your own uh, place, your own structure, is you can uh, you can add a lot of storage to places where, you know, if it was just being designed by, you know, some kind of commercial builder, they wouldn't take the opportunity to use a lot of that space. I know I've seen a lot of commercially done buildings and there's just so, so many wasted opportunities, like open areas, like between walls or dead spaces and things that you could put storage spaces in, closets in, secret compartments, you know, whatever. And, uh, you know, those opportunities aren't taken, but when you're doing it yourself, you can take the opportunity to, you know, use these empty spaces for storage or whatever. And I'm going to be using the 12 inches, actually it's uh, not quite 12 inches, it's uh, 10 and a half inches plus the uh, uh, thickness of these boards here to get you uh, up to 12 inches. Uh, but I'm going to be t using this space under here for, I don't know, whatever. Uh, you know, there's lots of things that you could store under here, anything that's kind of thin. I know at my last place, the last homestead, I had a little landing at the bottom of the stairs, and underneath there, I stored all my camping stuff, my camping backpacks, um, you know, uh, tents, you know, anything camping related. That was my camping storage area, and it was a great place for it because everything kind of, you, know, you didn't need immediate access to it very often, just a few times a year when you're going out. So it worked out really well. And this is a very similar sort of space. It's, it's wide, it's long, and it is, uh, you know, relatively uh, Short, so you know you can put things under here. Uh, what I'm thinking this would be a great space for uh, is uh, you know if we ever needed to use this place as a shelter of any sort, you know, it's uh, obviously a root cellar, and for the particular emergency that we're looking at right now, coronavirus, having a root cellar where you can store extra food is really the primary value of this. But if there was ever anything like some kind of a nuclear situation or whatever, I mean Chernobyl's on fire right now. Uh, not not that we uh, here have to worry about you know you know fallout uh, being thrown up in the air. But if you're ever in a situation where you need to shelter from uh, radiological danger, uh, you know th this would be a great place for kind of emergency supplies that you might want to access from there. We could stack up a ton of water jugs here as a you know a mass uh, you know of you know for blocking radiation there and have access to you know this space for some extra stuff just to make it so you have a little bit more living space in there and you can move some of your storage out into this area. So that's what this is primarily going to be for. It's just emergency supplies that'll be under here and there'll just be a hatch that'll come up. I think I'm going to make the hatch go from here to maybe here or so and uh, the whole thing will just lift up and you'll have access to it. So that's what I'm working on right now while I wait for the plumbers to finish or my building supplies for the shed to arrive. That's it. Thanks for watching.